While it's true the folks in Arkansas are responsible for 40% of all U.S. rice production, the natural state is known for bestowing the world with a little something tangier. Welcome back to Cooking the States, where we cook a famous dish from a different state in every episode in an attempt to discover the true identity of American food. Yes, this time we are heading down south once again to Arkansas. According to legend, it was in the 1960s where a man named Burnell Fatman Austin opened up the Duchess Inn, which would become the birthplace of the now world famous fried pickle. I'm using whole jumbo deli style pickles, but if you can't find these, spears or coins work fine too. That is one girthy boy. So no matter which pickle you decide to use, the important thing is that it's dry. So we're gonna cut these up into shapes that we deem fit, and then we're gonna make sure they're very dry by patting them with paper towel. Now, the spear versus coin battle has raged for millennia. Or, uh, or at least a few decades since these things hit the scene. And really, at the end of the day, there isn't a right or wrong answer. Just make whichever ones that you like, honestly. Who cares? I'm gonna make both, uh, not because I'm passive aggressive, which sometimes I definitely can be, but because I enjoy eating both kinds of pigs. Let's talk coating. I find that fried pickles are best and retain optimum crispiness when treated like fried green tomatoes. To a large mixing bowl, add one cup of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons cornstarch, a tablespoon each of black pep and garlic pow, a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper and a pinch of salt. Whisk that all up, then for the wet station, you're just gonna drop some buttermilk and an egg in a shallow bowl, whisk that up until semi-smooth, and that buttermilk is gonna give the pickles an extra tang. For the second and final dry coating, pour in some coarse corn grits. I prefer the yellow variety, this is just gonna give our already crunchy pickle an even more exciting exterior texture. Remember kids, moisture is the enemy of crispy food, so it's absolutely crucial that you dry these pickles off before dusting them in the dredge. If you skip this step, you run the risk of soggy picks, and Nobody likes a limp pickle. Set up a dry, wet, dry station, keeping one hand dry to work the pickles in the seasoned flour, then use your other hand to toss the pickles in the buttermilk, then finally go back and use that dry hand again to coat the pickles in the cornmeal. Once the pickles are coated, carefully drop them in 375 degree Fahrenheit 190C neutral oil for a few minutes, just until they're golden, slightly darkened, and ultra crispy. The first flour layer helps to form a base coating that allows the buttermilk to stick to the pickle, then the outside cornmeal allows for a hearty crust-like layer to form, giving these fried pickles an insane crunch that holds its crispiness much longer than batter fried pickles. Drain the pickles on a wire rack or paper towel lined plate, then hit them with a sprinkle of salt. Fried pickles are already tasty, sure, but they're tasty-er with a legit dipping sauce, and in our case, that's gonna be spicy homemade ranch dressing. To a mixing bowl, add a third cup each of sour cream, mayonnaise, and buttermilk. Then, for acidity, we're just gonna add two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Grate in two to three cloves of garlic. Then, for extra puntos, if you got it, a pinch of MSG, aka... The God Particle. Then, finally, a few glugs of your favorite hot sauce and a bunch of finely chopped chives. Finish with a few cracks of black pep and a pinch of salt, then remember to taste and adjust seasoning. This is a very important step that I cannot stress enough. Taste your food. If it's not quite there, fix it. Maybe it needs more spice, maybe it needs more acid, more salt, maybe not, but always taste. All right, it really is that simple, amigos. Let's take a closer look at the cast of characters before we take a bite. Let me know in the comments below, are you a long boy spear type person or do you prefer a coin vibe? Oh yeah. Mm. All right, now for the round. Can't tell which one I like more. That's the best one. No matter which you prefer, this is a fun different snack that I urge you to try, so enjoy. If you dug the video, please share it with that pickle prince slash princess in your life. I would really appreciate it and it does help the channel grow. Next week we are going to the most populous state of them all, a state so large and filled with so many people that I actually had to break it up into two episodes. Uh, that's right, we are going to California. Less cuss, best cuss, dude. As usual, the recipe for these pickles and everything else can be found on my website, so go peep that if you want to cook along. And yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you. I'll see you very shortly. See you next time. Cook on, and um, I got nothing. <laughs>